I love you all so much. Thank you for coming back faithfully. I appreciate it. What I want to talk about today is Satan's temptation of Jesus. And before we get started, imagine for just a moment that you're with Jesus. Would Jesus correct you if you weren't thinking correctly? If you believe something that wasn't true, wouldn't Jesus tell you the truth? Now, I'm certain he would. So we're going to look at this. Now, this story is not in the Gospel of John, but it is in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. You don't want to use the passage in Mark because it doesn't contain any of the dialogue between Satan and Jesus, but you could use Matthew or you could use Luke. Both are chapter four. So I'm going to read here, starting in Matthew four, verse one, here is what it says. Then Jesus was led up by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward, he was hungry. Now, when the tempter came to him, he said, if you are the son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. He's quoting here, Old Testament. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down for it is written, he shall give his angels charge over you and in their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, it is written again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I give you if you fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him and behold, angels came and ministered to him. So like I said, you could also pick um, Luke 4. I'm not going to read all of Luke 4 for time purposes, but I am going to read the one particular portion from the book of Luke where Satan is offering him the kingdoms. So there's a little bit of different verbiage. Here's what it says. This is Luke 4, beginning in verse 5. Then the devil, taking him on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority I give you and their glory, for this has been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. Therefore, if you will worship before me, it all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. So in either of those passages speaking about the kingdom, did Jesus say, Satan, you're wrong, dude. It's not yours to give. Nowhere did he say that. Jesus did not correct him. So when I tell you that Satan is running the planet and that Adam lost dominion and it was given to Satan, Jesus didn't correct Satan at all in any way, shape, or form. Satan says, all this authority, I give it to you and their glory for this has been delivered to me. Satan is saying the authority is his and he could give it to Jesus if he wanted. Jesus didn't correct him. Jesus being the son of God would have told him you're wrong because Jesus was quoting the scriptures when he was saying, man shall not live by bread alone, etc." Jesus did not correct him. So when I say to you that the world is under the power of the evil one and that Satan is running the planet, I can prove these things that I say out of scripture. I'm not trying to, to confuse anyone. I'm trying to show you logically that the things that you've been taught probably from the pulpit a lot of it isn't probably even true. And when I went on my journey for truth, these are the things that you recognize when you really look and search into scripture. Because what is better than having understanding of what God says in his word? So, armor up we ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.